of these. Yep. Yeah. All right. Oh. Jim and Alice. Um, it's an awkward seating. <laughs> it's very adversarial up here. So I've been talking up this session since Monday, um, and I have gathered questions from several people at the conference. Um, <laughs> so let's dive right in. Uh, first thing, um, I think this was on everyone's mind. Unifying seems like the way to go, but it also seems very daunting. Um, is it more theory or reality now? Oh, interesting. Um, I, I would say that um, it's probably about half and half, so it's right <laughs> straight down the middle. We do talk to advertisers who are content working uh, with their attribution model and their market mix model, as Jim said, and then there are people who absolutely, you know, can't get over the fact that the numbers are so different and that, you know, uh, that they are um, really looking to do both. What do you think? I'm losing my paper. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, this was another big one. A lot of people have a top-down marketing mix model, um, and they have an attribution system that they like. Um, how, how are they supposed to connect those together? Yeah, so that's part of the journey. Um, it it kind of starts, some people do it on the back of an envelope, right? So they'll, 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 they'll say, okay, mix is for allocating my budget across channels, and attribution is for optimizing within the channel. The part they forget is uh, that you can't optimize within the channel when you don't really understand what's driving what. So, um, and again, Alice said this, Alice said everything already, so, but just to repeat <laughs> that, that you know, if you have other things going on in the, in the marketing mix, that you may be misattributing to display, let's say. So you can't optimize truly. And then you can't optimize across channels because you don't know if what you're doing in each channel is optimal. So, um, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> I've got an econometric model and I've got an attribution system. How am I tying them together? Oh yeah, that one, right, right. <laughs> I was trying to avoid that. Right, well, that, that, that's what I, you know, I've talked about. What, what, what people, are, so there's the back of the envelope or keep it yes. separate, but that's not, a, that's, that's an SDSS. Um, <laughs> But uh, so what people are doing is, is trying to use the appropriate model for consumer level and market level, but then integrate them in a way, whether it's in a, you know, a structure, a hierarchical structured model, like a Bayesian model of structural equations, or whether it's in, you know, with nested logits or something like that. They're, they're um, challenges to solve these things, and, and I'm sure they've been difficult to build them. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, don't we always say that we let, that a lot of people let the market mix model results set the guardrails for mm -hmm. uh, the levels that digital can, you know, exactly. yeah. uh, account for? So it provides some parameters. Yeah, so, so, maybe to say even simply the, the solutions are available. Um, I, I don't think this is where we're going to end up. I think we're in the middle of this evolution, but I think there are workable solutions out there. You led me right into my next question, uh -huh. which is, um, as we're working on defining this now, and I think you laid it out pretty beautifully in the beginning of the presentation, the whys and whatever, what do you think the future of this looks like? And when we, you know, plus five or 10 years, when we look at what unification looks like, what do you guys, how do you see that? I am very impressed that there appear to be two camps there's the, it's, this sounds silly, and, but there's the modeling camp, the heavy duty, long term market mix model people who are, who love it, who understand, they can do it more frequently, they really feel like they're at the top of their game. And then on the other hand, there's the, the digital attribution people who feel exactly the same way, you know? And, and I think we're going to have a people issue in this industry for a while. We may have it through the whole generation of people um, who are pretty set in their ways and, co and confident that, that their approach is correct. Yeah, that's actually really, really good, that, that there are technical challenges and there are cultural challenges. And, you know, um, attribution is great for trying to t take charge of your, um, your, your uh, fate and improve your, your ROI and your responsiveness. But what happens so often at that level is we, for we forget about brands, we forget about strategy. It's all tactics, 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 which tends to push you into a corner long term. On the other hand, at the mixed level, we lost sight of consumers because we're dealing with markets. So, um, Somehow we're, get, we're getting to deal with both of those. And my personal bet, wish, is that we get the um, data cleaned up, representative, matched well enough, and even you know, stuff that happens at a market level, um, you know, that we can, we can link that to individuals to be able to do all the modeling at an individual level. But to believe that that's possible now without you know, some, uh, some problems, I think is naive. All right, guys, our time's up. Thank you. Thank you.